modernized conversational experience from Zendesk. Zendesk just announced another update to their UI. This time to make it more intuitive for you to see where you are, who are your agents, who's your client, make conversations a bit obvious. This to increase productivity for your agents. In the long list of new releases from Zendesk, where we barely can keep up with these videos, we're going to look at what's changing. And because we're cheeky, we're just going to comment how impactful this can be. Will it actually help or will it not? I'm sharing my screen here on the Zendesk Help Center, which contains all of these options updates, which is currently in beta. These are not available to the general public yet, but you can apply for this beta. And I'm going to show you the link and I'm going to leave it in the description of this video. However, I'm going to leave this article as well for you so you can have a look yourself. This was announced on March 25th and it was rolled out the same day. So let's have a look. So example of the look and feel right now, it's this. We're all very familiar with it. Well, it depends. I have a course about how to onboard Zanas, which is to years old and it's quite ancient compared to this. I'm actually working on a new course on how to be the best Zendesk admin and change the world, but the UI doesn't let me actually create this course, so I have to update it again. All right, so the main area that is going to be updated is going to be this one. It's the conversation experience, which is related to what you talk to with your customer. As you well know, on the left-hand side, you have your data collection, so anything related to take a data that you need to show up in reports or will help you solve the ticket faster. In the middle, you have the conversation with the customer between the agent and the customer. And on the right hand side, some more information about the customer or connections with third parties or the AI tool. All right, so what's changing in phase one, the new look and feel available now. Okay, so let's just go directly to it. Be mindful, this is very subtle. This is not going to be your in your face type of a video. So let's have a look. I'm going to just zoom in a lot here so we can have a look. So look, this is Lisa here before and we're familiar she has this uh, icon here and now afterwards she's going to look like this she's going to have a headphone so you can know she's an agent very easily to spot who's the agent and who's the customer all right so assigning location and timestamp location before it used to be something like this I'm going to zoom in a little bit more if it's possible I'd have the name of my agent where the ticket is from, coming from so in this case via messaging I'd have an assign button so I can assign it to myself and and I have the date when this is coming. Now they're all near Lisa's name. So you have the icon, which is messaging. You can assign it to yourself. And then you have the date uh, right next to it. Looks cool. All right, channel identifiers. So before it used to say via messaging near the agent's name. So Lisa Kelly. And then afterwards, it's going to have an icon, which will symbolize what the channel is. And if you hover over it, you'll see this tooltip, which says the channel. So in this case via messaging, which is pretty cool. I like it. Okay, the full list of channel icons includes, okay, basic channels like email, chat, messaging, talk, side conversations, and the public reply. Okay, I like the fact that this is uh, actually giving me insight into how these icons are going to look like so I can identify which is which. It's self-obvious, but maybe not so much. For the social and other channels, you have Facebook messaging, you have X, Twitter DM, all right, or X now, very confusing, Elon Musk, Jesus. Jesus line, what's up, WeChat. All right, so Instagram DM, Kakao Talk, Telegram Viber, these all have the same icon. Ugh. Then Google RCS, Apple Business Chat, Google Business Messaging, and then SMS Twilio. I don't love this. No, thank you. I need an icon for each, but then again, it's going to make it even more confusing. But anyway, let's move on. Message bubbles. All right, so let's see. Message bubbles on the left. This is how we used to have it. Uh, you'd have the agent photo, you have their name, and then the message right under it. All right. And then afterwards, you're going to have chat bubbles exactly like you have in your messaging or in your SMS or your text, which I like. It was very cool, like you have in all your messaging apps. Cool. Cool. I like that. Message grouping. All right. Cool. Oh, man. This has been like a duh one. Jesus Christ. Look. So before it used to be the agent and then, you know, the client was replying. And then if they had three replies, then you have three different lines with their photo with their name and uh, quite uh, quite uh, yikes so now they're all grouped again like in any kind of messaging Facebook WhatsApp whatever so I like this one a lot messaging seen read and delivered all right this one before it used to have this uh, two check marks 
works very at the very right. Now it's very close to the, where the message is. So afterwards you see it very close and it's actually more intuitive. You see it to ting ting very close. I like that. Good borders for messaging and call recordings. All right, before and after I, oh, uh, they made it round. Okay, cool. I like, I like details. So yeah, they made this uh, border round. Good, I like it, very good. So no changes to the ticket redaction inside conversations. Okay, cool. And phase two, navigation improvements coming soon. Let's not insist on these because I don't care. We're going to maybe look at the, uh, this uh, in a later video. Okay, so what do you need to do? So this modern conversation, you have to sign up for it, and this is the link. It's in here, sign up for the beta. It's a Google form and you just put in your email address here and next next and that's it you're going to yeah get a release very soon probably as a conclusion i tried to be as cheeky as i could with this but I only have compliments to give it because it's actually a very nice touch and I think it's going to improve the overall UI. I hate it also because I was trying to shoot a course and uh, you know my course would show an older UI and then you'd get to see it and then you'd be like what is this? This is not even the same platform. So from that respect <laughs> I'm not very happy but this is cool. I like it. I like it when platforms keep modernizing and keep adding things to make it better. So yeah more power to it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'd be really grateful and you'd help the algorithm and uh, well, whatever. You'd help other people see it. Fuck the algorithm. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.